We have here an Acer Aspire laptop that came in for repair, and the customer said that it was working fine last night, but in the morning when they turned it on, it showed an operating system not found error. This is quite an old laptop, as you can see, it's in fairly poor condition. Now in laptops like these, what often happens is that when you press F2, it takes you into the BIOS. Once you're in the BIOS and go into the boot section, you'll notice that the boot mode is set to UEFI. We're going to change that to legacy BIOS because I don't think the operating system was originally installed in UEFI mode. So we're changing the setting and then pressing F10 to save and exit. Now the setting might have been changed by someone or it could have been reset automatically because of drained CMOS battery, which might need replacement. As you can see now, the laptop is booting normally into Windows. Let's check which version of Windows is installed. From the looks of it, this seems to be Windows 8. And judging by the condition of the laptop, that seems quite likely. It's running an Intel Pentium processor, an older generation that probably isn't compatible with Windows 10 or 11. So just keep in mind, if this BIOS setting gets changed, you could also see the same operating system not found error. Yes, it is Windows 8, a fairly old version, but the customer uses this laptop for accounting work and has been relying on it for a long time. This is the first time this issue has occurred after many years. I had originally installed Windows on this laptop myself. So the problem was simply that the boot mode had switched to UEFI instead of legacy BIOS. We changed it back in the BIOS settings. And let me quickly show you the process once more. I'm shutting it down now. Once it's powered off, I'll turn it back on again. Also, many of the built-in keys on the laptop weren't working, so I had to connect an external keyboard. Interestingly, even the external keyboard the customer brought in had a non-working F2 key, which is needed to enter BIOS. So, now I'm turning it back on and pressing F2 to enter BIOS. Inside the boot menu, we've now once again set the boot mode to Legacy BIOS. 